Hello, I'm Ruby, I'm five years old. Um, lots of people have asked my mummy um, what paints to use for rocks. Um, this is what my mummy uses and I'm, and I'm going to show you what um, we're going to what we use to paint our rocks. We used to use paint and nail varnish but now we use paint pens. So I'm going to show you a selection of mummy's paint pens. Posca pens. What are you going to draw? Daisies. The good thing about these is you can draw on dark coloured rocks and they don't smudge when you seal them. You can draw daisies. You could write words. Here's one. If you want to write on the back of a dark rock, you can just do it. If you make a mistake, you can colour over the top because they are acrylic paint pens. As are my dynamic art ones, which are great for doing backgrounds with. I've actually coloured the background of this one here with my dynamic art pen, which looks like this. And I've drawn some stalks. Yeah. So I've this one, this one, and this one. Ready? Yellow again. I love this one first. I'm going to use my dynamic arc pen to use my daisies. A bit greenish. Only because someone's been using it on top of a green. I take this to my children's events. Now you need a white one. Oh yeah, where's a white? Use this white one. This is a another type of acrylic pilot pen. Try that one. Yep, pilot All pen. of these are great because none of them smudge. See how this goes. Oh. Now I'm going to do the stalk. See? Daisies are lovely. I'm sure I saw a massive, massive daisy once. With mummy. Remember? I use metallic pens. They look really nice to you to colour in for background for backgrounds. Now I'm going to do a different rock. Ruby's using a dynamic art gold pen for a background. Oh, and this is what I've done, it's a killer oil. Colours my killer whale in gold. We're gonna do the face in a different colour when it dries. You feel like your like your paint um isn't what like your pen is not working. Sometimes you just need to press the nib in a little bit a few times and then it will work. If you don't have paint pens, um you could use sharpies, but they don't show up on dark rocks that much. This is the yellow sharpie. What are you doing, Ruby? A person. It will dry and it will show more yellow than black once it's dried. It's a permanent pen. Because this is a paint pen, now it's dried, I can draw on top of it. So I'm going to draw some windows because it's actually meant to be a car instead of a killer whale now. That's the good thing about acrylic paint pens. If you make a mistake, you can just cover it over or you can paint on top in layers once it's dried. You can use thin ones like Mummy's going to show you right now. Not put your hands in the paint because otherwise you'll get smudgy hands. Today we're going to watch The Greatest Showman and, and so I'm going to watch The Greatest... I'm going to... Draw the greatest showman man. This doesn't make any sense. Because it said man man. If you want to use rocks outside, you need to use sealer spray. So these are two that I use. We just do a fine layer of sealer spray outside in the open air so you don't breathe in the fumes. 
You just spray them and it shouldn't smudge if you use Posca's or Dynamic Art Colors. Just use Mod Podge Scenic Glue. If you're doing something like decoupage, if you want to know what decoupage is, you have to watch Ruby's decoupage video also on Forest of Dean Rock's YouTube channel. That is where you use a serviette and you can glue on top. This one's been outside in my garden for a year. This is last Christmas. And that's been covered in a layer of Mod Podge seed glue. Done my greatest show, man. Rock. And I might be hiding it, I might not be, but it's my favourite, bestest rock I've ever done for The Greatest Showman. Don't forget to put the lids on and don't forget to tidy them up in your case. Another nice thing about my paint pens is they're, they're not much meshy to tidy up. Please like and subscribe to our channel and have fun. Bye bye.